in this video I'll be attempting the impossible, which is to design something that doesn't look like It's gonna be very hard, but I'm going to challenge myself and create a flat design illustration in just 20 minutes using one photo reference and one tool, which is Adobe Illustrator. The theme of the challenge is social media, so if you wanna follow along, you can find the link of my reference image in the description of this video. Once you're in Illustrator, hit new file, and then I'm going to use a template from Martin Illustration. Let's pick the bigger one and name it challenge. Hit create, and we're going to start off by placing our initial image, which is the reference. The theme of this illustration is actually social media or improving your life. So I was just looking through this blog and I saw this image. And this is the image I'm going to use as a reference. Let's right click, copy, and I'm going to switch to Adobe Illustrator and place it over here because this is what we're going to use as a reference. I'm actually going to use this thing as a timer. Let's set it up to 20 minutes and three, two, one, this challenge started. Okay, to do it fast, I'm going to first create the base. So to do that, I'm going to zoom in and I'll just draw with the pen tool on top of this girl, double click on the color of the stroke, hit okay. And now I'm going to create the head so the head is going to be like a rectangle. This is a pretty big rectangle. Then we're going to have the neck, right? Simple. Okay, maybe do the body. So let's start from over here. Create it like this. This one goes right over here. I'll try to do it at an angle here for the sleeve as well. Okay, then we have some of the hands. So the hands are going to actually start from over here. Let's click this one just to sample it and start with the hands over here this is going to be the forearm or i don't know what that is called i don't really know the names here in english but then i'll do the hand so this is the hand use the eyedropper tool to actually sample the stroked outline and then continue with on the other side you can have the hand over here and then we're going to do the other hand like so and i'll try to do it as fast as possible so like i'm not trying to get it perfect then we're going to have the phone somewhere here in the middle so for the phone again it's just a rectangle i'll make it a bit bigger just because i want the illustration to look a bit more interesting then i'm going to create the hand the hand is going to come on top of everything over here so let's create the hand and try to make it like that like it's holding the phone and this hand should actually be placed somewhere behind it because i'm trying to do with this hand something like she's trying to tap something then we gotta do the legs so for the legs this is gonna be a bit hard uh, let's maybe start from over here and then i'll adjust so click drag so it comes behind the elbow over here accentuate these shapes a bit okay and then I'm going to go behind the feet because the feet are going to be individual elements here. Same thing connected here to be below the elbow. We also need to do the feet and it's almost five minutes past. So I am going to need to hurry up a bit. Okay, so this is the first foot. Do the second one. Okay, <laughs> no, that's too big. I need to do it faster. So let's move everything except for the image let's move it on the right hand side to see the structure so this is the structure we can do like small adjustments but not right now because i'm already out of time okay so for the head and for the neck i'll select all of them and use the eyedropper tool to actually sample a color now we have a color double click if you want to change it maybe make it like a tan color same for the hands holding down shift to make that selection and now we have the hands for the actual t-shirt let's click it here okay this is also this color the phone is actually should be like a dark color something like that let's make it a bit bigger let's make the head a bit smaller and this is starting to look a bit better let's move these with the uh, direct selection tool move it around then we have the pants which are gonna be blue I actually don't really like this color. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting stuck in details, but let's do like a green, something like a teal green. Okay, this is good. Then we have the feet. Hold down shift to select both of them, sample the color. And now let's take this uh, shirt a bit down a bit 
and mask it behind the legs. So for the legs, I these are the worst part of the illustration so far. So I'm going to try to make some adjustments and actually get these hands to be in front by holding down command and right bracket. Now we have them in front and we can actually do some changes. This one needs to be lined up with the t-shirt, same on this hand as well. Okay, so we have the base illustration. Now we are going to have to go and do some of the details. So for the face, uh, we're gonna do hair first with a direct selection tool, which is A, selected, and let's <laughs> create these uh, rounded corners so it looks a bit better. I don't really like it, so maybe let's make it a bit bigger like this and move this handle a bit like this, just so it doesn't look like a robot. So select it, then round them up, and now using the pen tool, I'm going to do the hair. Let's sample this color. I'm going to do something like this first, and then I'm going to go like this. Okay, so now we have the hair, and I'm going to actually mask it by this one. So select it, hold down shift, and select the hair as well. Go with shift M, and holding down the alt key, you can actually get rid of those elements. And now uh, we have the hair. Also, let's do an element on top. So with the element on top, I'm going to take the curvature tool over here and create a circle. It kind of looks like a circle and place it over here maybe. Now we're going to do the eyebrows. Uh, so with the pen tool, select it, create an eyebrow. Now we're going to make these strokes. So switch this up, make it like three, go to the stroke panel and make sure that it has a rounded cap and a corner. And this is what we're going to use as the first element. Then we're going to do a second eyebrow. And now we need to do the eyes. So for the eyes, they're going to follow the same structure, I think. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, but let's make it white. So eyedropper tool selected. Now you have white and going to do the same for this one. And I already am out of like seven minutes. So I'm going to go way faster <laughs> these eyes look horrible let's move them so they're at least on the same uh, level okay and maybe do a nose so i'm going to use the stroke as well to kind of continue this path okay to do this nose and a quick smile with the pen tool Okay, uh, I would like for the character to actually look down at the phone. So for that, I'm going to sample this and create uh, kind of like a circle for the eyes. Okay, and holding down option key, I'll make a copy. Okay, so she's looking down at it. Uh, let's actually select both of these. Shape Builder tool, get rid of the excess. Same here, Shape Builder tool. No, I deselected. Okay, selected again. Shape Builder tool, hold down Alt, get rid of that. And we also need some ears. So for that, I'm going to take the curvature tool. Yeah, let's not make them, let's make them around like so. On the right hand side as well. And move them closer to, to the actual hairline. Okay, and I'm going to use this shape to actually create some shapes over here. Okay, let's move to the neck. The neck needs to be a bit smaller and we can actually create a, a shadow. So we're going to use the same color. Click here, click here, here and here. Also for the nose and the mouth, maybe it would be nice to have this color but a bit darker so swap it up make it three points and double click to make changes and this color works and let's make it like that cool okay now move to the phone phone uh, quickly make the corners a bit round i'm going to create a quick camera module over here <laughs> i have time for a camera module uh, yeah, let's do the same and using the curvature tool, uh, create some camera lenses. Okay, this one is good and I'll duplicate it for the sake of simplicity, make it smaller. 
go like that and this one needs to be on top of everything so hit it a couple of times i don't really have anything to add over here for the t-shirt maybe make it a bit bigger and around this one off i'll do the same for this one bigger move it no move it down and then i'm going to round it off a bit for the hands i think they're pretty good the way they are maybe just drop this one a bit and make it a bit bigger like this i'm going to differentiate it using this shape so using this shape i'm going to actually go over here and create a shape that's uh, separating separating those two elements so it doesn't look as busy for the legs now these two legs are not the same so i'm going to try to make some quick changes quick adjustments this is actually horrible okay maybe move it a bit like this yeah okay so that was the issue okay let's move it we need to go over here to the smooth tool select it again smooth tool and smooth these out because they look a bit wonky smooth this out i'm going to use this to separate the legs as well just because this looks uh, weird where they cover each other yeah so do something like that and also maybe have some separation over here this should be this color this should be this color and i only have seven minutes left okay so for this let's create some quick paths over here and this is going to be the thing that uh, what's it i don't know what it's called it's probably the thing that you can tie together <laughs> okay if you know the name of what i'm trying to do uh, let me know in the comment section okay so we have the illustration but what about the theme of social media so for that to work i'm going to create a background this is the background maybe move this one a bit over here select it and make it rounder and i'm going to select a color why not this color right click arrange send to back and then make this white and i want to have some icons on the sides so to do that i'm going to uh, create a few shapes like this that would be kind of like uh, the elements let's use this stand Poof. i need to be quick six minutes left uh, i'll do one over here as well maybe this one higher and then i have one over here that's a bit smaller something like this and then i'm going to do one on the side on the right hand side and do another one over here okay so five social media icons okay i'm going to try to run through this select all of them and make them round uh, we have five of them actually do some shadowing behind them select all of them and move everything below and sample this color and holding down command left bracket control left bracket you can actually do that on all of these elements for the icons with five minutes left i'm going to go to chrome and look for social media icons i already had it searched <laughs> now i need to <laughs> select okay okay this is a bus i don't have time for this social media icons let's go to icons and i need a few maybe yeah okay the first one i don't have time to think about this copy the image i paste it in and i'll actually draw elements on top of it so it kind of looks like hand-drawn elements and uh, let's select that color and using the pen tool i'm going to quickly go and create a facebook icon maybe if i use the pencil tool maybe this would be a bit faster because this is taking way too long okay let me take the pencil tool okay so i'll create a shape that's following the instagram logo then i'll create a shape that's the outline i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to keep up the challenge of not <laughs> doing something that looks really bad but i'm going to try same for twitter okay so we still have three minutes my skills under pressure are not that great but i'm going to do my best okay so now we have the tiktok tiktok has like the weirdest logo of them all i feel like i wouldn't really recognize it youtube okay so do the shape <laughs> the shape is horrible but i'll also do this with the pen tool and now let's take all of these select it hold down shift to deselect the image move them on the side and add a color to them let's see how they look <laughs> 
this doesn't look uh, that good okay so for instagram i need to move this around for twitter i i don't know what to do with twitter that's just above my pay grade so this one i'm going to try to redesign i still have two minutes left okay i'm going to do this select the one that's awful right click arrange sent back and now this one is going to be the icon you can't even tell that it's a play button i feel like i'm spending way more time on this one than i would have imagined uh, so let's uh, select all of these go to window pathfinder 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 hit merge and ungroup and then let's take this first one this is the logo should i make it green or blue let's see how it looks with blue no i don't like it with white yeah looks better okay facebook is next i still have two minutes so i might be cutting it close with this one okay white insta 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 okay i need to select only these colors and make a copy while holding down the alt key insta twitter i think you'll be able to tell that this is twitter even though uh, i don't really like the beak it's kind of like laughing a bit <laughs> it's smiling okay and then the last one is tiktok send it here here okay and now final final changes i still have one minute final changes i really don't like how this looks like in the background here it creates a lot of visual tension so i'm going to make it a bit smaller just so you don't have that weird stroke of dark color let's see how it looks like if i'm going to move the ears a bit so it's not really connected i feel like this looks a bit better and the whole face needs to move a bit just because it's on the right hand side and i i'm not a big fan of that i'm going to select everything and move it a bit on the center and a bit lower so it's looking like she's looking at the phone i need to make this a bit bigger and with 18 seconds left maybe i can work on the hand a bit and actually give it some details like this that makes it look like she's holding it with her thumbs and that's it so in 20 minutes i was able to create this flat illustration from a reference and actually <laughs> the only thing i would do differently is probably the icons i would probably spend more time to actually create something that looks a bit more refined because especially the, this twitter icon imagine sending a client this icon and be like yeah i, I just drew something for you <laughs> right so just figuring out how i can create a better look of these icons and play around with the placing of these elements and i would be okay with this illustration Hopefully you enjoyed this type of video, which was a bit more chaotic than I usually like to work on. But if you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.